I had a student in my class that was feeling miserably. This kid could not pass a test for anything. And my test is a lot of fun. I'm a fun guy. Okay? And this guy could have passed. For nothing. I mean, this guy, forget about it. By the way, parenthetically, I think he got his master's degrees now. Phenomenal. Wow. It wasn't for me, don't worry. Anyway, and this guy could not pass a test for his life. And I would walk around to see what he was doing with his notes. And he was doodling. Every time I'd walk by, instead of writing notes, he was coloring. He was drawing. I said, this guy is a genius. I said, listen, come here, come here. Let's call him Yaakov. I said, Yaakov, please come over here. I want to talk to you. So Yaakov comes to me. And I said, listen, I see that you're doodling in my class. He says, Rabbi, Rabbi, I'll stop. Please, don't, don't, don't call my mother. Just, just don't call my mother. I said, no! From now on, I want you to take notes in my class. He said, okay, Rabbi, I'll do it. No, no, no. I want you to draw. Draw my notes in class. He says, what do you mean? I said, we're learning about Moshe Rabbeinu. We're learning about Kiryat Yam Suf. Draw it. We're learning about Atzera Di Berot. Draw it. We're learning about Yetziah Mitzrayim. Draw it. Yitro. Draw it. Mishpatim. I want you to draw every lesson that we give in this class. You're not allowed to write a word. Not allowed. Only drawing. Ladies and gentlemen, the first test you took, you got a 95. A 95. I still remember now, 21 years later, you can imagine the impression it had on my mind. Because I didn't say, you know what, this is my system and you better learn it or fail. I said, for this kid, there's a plan B. If it's going to make this kid persevere in life, so be it. Let him draw his notes and excel academically.